I make a fist to squeeze the tag to the top of my skin. Now I approach the device. It opens the Facebook page I set it to. Provino has a microchip implanted in both of his hands. Some people just look really grossed out. I put my hand up and I let them poke at it and they freak out. Developed in the 1950s and 60s, RFID chips, short for radio frequency identification, have been used by retailers to track packages and prevent theft. Farmers use the chips to keep tabs on their livestock. Pet owners use them to identify their cats and dogs. And lately, members of the so-called body hacker movement have been implanting RFID chips under their skin, programming them to perform various tasks. Colin Corvino, a smartphone repairman in Brooklyn, New York, uses his chips to open his front door. He found them on a website called Dangerous Things that sells implant kits and offers user tips. I came across it when I was doing research on the Samsung deadbolt that I bought. And then the first thing that I noticed was that I could get an RFID tag that would work with the deadbolt. Corvino plans to modify one of his motorcycles next. And I haven't decided on where I want to put the authenticator, the antenna, thinking probably down by the seat somewhere because this comes off. So I would just tap my hand on it. Then the light would come on as if I put the key in. And then I would just hit the ignition and start the vehicle. RFID retailers estimate that between 30 and 50,000 people worldwide have chip implants in their bodies. German tech consultant Andreas Schostrom used his chip as a boarding pass on a recent flight from Stockholm to Paris <clears throat> and to get into an airport VIP lounge. <clears throat> Skeptics say the implants raise privacy issues and worry that strangers could tap into the information on a chip without the owner's knowledge. Others say potential uses for the technology, such as keeping track of a patient with dementia, could pose ethical concerns. But Crovino and others see a future where technology and the human form will merge. I think when it becomes more prevalent and there's a lot more things and options that you can do with this, that people will, you know, opt in for that kind of augmented human sort of attitude. That's why I have an Android device and not an iPhone is because I want to be able to customize everything I have. So why should I not be able to customize myself? To Zarya, hey, these dudes sold out, man. Why we can't get out. And then we take the time these dudes are compromised. That the white man is doing, but it won't do what it takes. Hassan is more on point than this so. this guy. That's a damn shame. So, FEMA camps ain't worth well. Just, and just to correct, there ain't no such thing as a microchip that that's a mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is the spirit that you carry for that beast. What so the that fuck is right that? What are you so talking you about? What's in your forehead, your brain? What you think? <clears throat> oh my your goodness. Your hand symbolizes the action. Yeah, y'all That's brothers, y'all already know. It's about to be a bunch of response videos in it. What are you willing to do with it? <laughs> <Got> the... <clears throat> Shalom. Giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah Kudash, giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and have taught us this truth that are constant will and will through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Shall one to the sincere brothers, the believers that's pushing this word wholeheartedly in truth and sincerity, that are not wavering to the left nor to the right, but constantly staying on that straight and narrow, fighting for your crowns in these last days that we are truly living in. Shall one to the few sisters, the Aquafs. And shall one to the Israelite foreigners, those that may look like the other nations, but their seed line goes back unto our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is the brother Ira coming back with another lesson to love and edify and feed the lambs of the Lord. Okay. All right. And, um, you know, as of lately, you know, you're hearing so-called men of the Lord. All right. Speaking about. The prophecies which they're trying to discredit what are the actual prophecies, okay, dealing with the Karagma, okay, which is dealing with the CHIP, all right, 
or going into brain implants, okay? And these things are being shown in the last days. All right, who Yahweh Bashim Abba is dealing with and who he's not, okay? And all those that will be deceived by those that listen to all right, these, these false prophets out here, okay? Now, before I continue further, I want to get this script real fast. <clears throat> In the book of um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 8, it says, What have pride profit us? Or what good have riches with our vaunting brought us? Okay. All these things are passed away like a shadow and as a post that hasted by, right? Because Yahweh Bashem al he's not dealing with pride. And those who have sold out, taken a bag, okay, doing their own thing, living it up. All right, you have men on the planet Earth that boast in these riches. How are these things going to deliver you? All right, in the time of the Lord's wrath. Okay. Let's go over here to the next scripture. All right. To the book of um, Sirach chapter 10 verse 12. It says the beginning of pride is when one departed from the most high and his heart is turned away from his maker. Okay. All right. So you have men on the planet earth that <clears throat> are deceived in their mind thinking that they're men of the Lord. That they're doing the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Okay. And they're not. They're doing the will of Satan, okay? They're agents for Satan, all right? And then you have the balance, which you have the men on the planet Earth that are actually doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai according to his heart, okay? Doing it thoroughly, standing upon what they believe in to what the Lord has opened their mind to be inspired by, okay? All right? And as the Lord puts his spirit on men, you see these things taking place right in front of our, our very eyes because what the scriptures say is said the tokens would speak. All right, matter of fact, let me get that real fast, okay? In the book of Second Ezra, okay? Because this is what the, this is what we look for. These are the things that we speak, and these are the things that we push into the ears of our people, okay? To also understand what's going on, whether they hear it or forbid it, all right? And those that have a righteous heart inside of them, okay, I will will turn unto the true doctrine of Yahweh by Shem Shah and will not be deceived by those that are deceiving, all right? This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 20. It says, And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens, okay? So what is that world that is beginning to vanish away? It is the world of Esau Edom, all right? His society is coming to an end, and we see these things, okay? We're seeing the end is being what made manifest, okay? And Yahweh Bashim Abba Shai is showing forth the tokens, okay? Which the tokens deal with the prophecies, all right? The prophecies, okay? The books shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall see all together, okay? Now, mind you, Tazoriak, he's not the only one that doesn't believe in the mark of the beast, all right? You have members from IUIC, GOCC, all these different groups, okay, that are puffed up in their minds, okay, I, and really don't want to give credit where credit is due, okay, because the men that have broken down time at the time of, uh, of the um, Karagma, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, okay, let's just call a spade a spade, all right? But see, that's a part of the duality as well. The Lord is going to have the righteous men and the wicked men, okay? And the righteous are going to turn to the true leaders, all right? And they're going to learn and ever grow, all right? Because what? They're being fed through the Holy Spirit, all right? They're those plants, all right? Constantly being watered by the brooks, okay? Um, And that's why in the end, everybody else is going to be put to shame, okay? Now, let's go over here real fast. Um, to go even deeper, 
right? Because it doesn't make any sense that Hussein Campbell, Hussein Campbell, I right, is more on point than a man that knows about Yahweh Bashmel Shai, learned from the elders, um, is out there, so called preaching of the Lord and, and, and preaching about his people should should fumble that hard, all right, over something that is simple and easy, plain, all right. Show you that these men are not mine. These are men of corrupt minds, okay? But there's many more out there, all right? Let's keep going. Let's watch this. By the way, did you hear the Neuralink thing? It's it's in human testing now. Yeah. This is... <laughs> King, I, I know, if you're a longtime listener, I know 20 years ago you thought I was just a babbling madman when I would talk to you about the singularity and talk to you about what tech was going to be like. Ten years ago, same thing. Five years ago, maybe you started going, oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess people are talking about it. Two years ago, same thing. You need to understand the singularity because it's on our doorstep. And that is... All right, and he's talking about Revelation 13, okay, which I'm going to grab in a second. But this man is not a man of the Lord, all right? And he's not the first one to bring out the, the um, breakdown of Revelations 13, 15 on down, okay? He is not the first one, all right? Let's keep going. By the way, did you strokes? This would change her. It would make her her. As a father of a daughter who has had strokes, this would change her. It would make her probably whole because the problem with strokes is the pathways for information. If you think of the brain as a roadmap, there are bridges that are out. And so it takes longer for information to go from one place to another. And right. sometimes it can't get there at all. What Neuralink promises to do is to is to bridge from one part of the brain to the other part of the brain electronically. So that incredible. it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And it has the potential to be a miracle if it were to miracle. work. Miracle. People, if you had a stroke, you could go back. The promise or the hope is back to the way you were uh, before the stroke. Mm. Uh, All right. So let's pause that right there. I ain't in deal with that segment, but before we even <clears throat> deal with that, okay, anybody that is preaching that the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast, okay, they are not to be trusted, all right? Let's go over here to the book of um, 1 Corinthians. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Okay? Now, how are men joined together in the same mind? Okay? Let's read it. This is Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do of not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You see? It's the spirit of prophecy. I, that is how we be on one accord, on the same page, if we're speaking of the spirit of prophecy. All right? So anybody that's speaking contrary, they are not to be trusted, okay? Matter of fact, let's go into this word testimony because this is the testimony of our faith. Everything that we're saying is the testimony of our faith, all right? What we believe, okay? Let's go over here. Strong's G, 3141, Marturia, Marturia. Marturia, okay? Which Matarita goes into the to the um origin word, which is 
being a martyr. All right. And see, this is why a lot of these individuals out here, they're going to have a lot of blood upon their hands and they're going to have to uh, stand before the judge and explain themselves. All right. And who's the judge? The judge is Yahushai. OK, now let's read into this definition it says a testifying the office committed to the prophets of testifying concerning future events. What one testifies testimony, i.e. before a judgment, okay? And is not we telling our uh, people that are uh, blessed with the eye self and the spirit to hear and understand, to not take this technology that they're trying to put in your body, or else your how about Shema Shai will destroy you, okay? Uh, now we tell you that Esau Edom wants to control you, enslave you, all right? And, and, and that you should cling unto your how about Shema Shai, especially in the times that we are living in. We have been giving you this sound counsel, all right? Reasoning, okay? All right? Coming straight forward. As we ought to do so, okay? Matter of fact, um, there's a scripture I wanted to go to, all right? Testify concerning future events, right? Let's go over here to the book of Second Thessalonians, okay? Because they mention about building and connecting ner nerves or, 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 or neurons in your brain that don't work properly, okay? And this is going to be a part of the, the, the miracles. Somebody that's messed up, that they, they goes down and takes this um, technology implant into the brain, right? And you're able to walk and you're able to, to run and be better, supposedly, all right, for the moment. Okay, this is this is how they're gonna persuade and move the masses of the people. It's gonna be like a wave. People are gonna jump onto it. All right. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse eight. It says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. All right, so we know that dealing with Esau Edom, and shall be, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. It says, Even him whose coming is after the workings of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders okay let's look up this word lying okay because this is nothing of a miracle all right this is more of deception okay and this is what we this is what we should be telling our people all right when you go into the word lying it actually goes into what pseudos strong g 5579 pseudos Sudas. Sudas. All right. A lie, conscious, an intentional falsehood in a broad sense, whatever is not what it seems to be. You see? So in a broad sense, it's not something that it seems to be. See, on the surface level, this is what they're telling you. All right. But they're coming at you very deceitfully. All right. And that's how the devil operates. That's how the devil moves. OK. And then even when you listen closer into the video. OK. Um, they're trying to say Elon Musk is trying to do this now so that way it could it could he can have it on the market first so it can help you. All right. Matter of fact, let's listen to, let's listen to him. Let's listen to him sell itself, okay? Let's keep going. Uh, I mean that's 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 a miracle. However, it also will connect to the internet. And mm -hmm. It is Elon Musk's way of saying we've got to come up with something fast and cheap because this is what the left is going to do and people want to control. And there's got to be something out there that will be a good version of this where if you want to learn Spanish, you just download it. I mean, it's very Matrix. It's here. Oh, man. Show you that. Show you that they... They don't got it, all right? These regular individuals, these fake Fugazi prophets, they don't have it. Yahweh by Shemal Shah is not dealing with these Edomites, nor is he dealing with these <clears throat> dumb dogs, okay? That are not barking, okay? All right? Um, 
And Elon Musk, Elon Musk, he's a part of their agenda. Okay. All right. This ain't nothing to help you. This ain't nothing to cure you. This ain't nothing to anything good for you. Because what is the penalty of taking it? The penalty of taking this technology all right, in your body is death and destruction. Ties the brain for health reasons. Okay. But that's step one. Mm. The other steps as it goes links you to the internet uh, so you can download and upload information, and remember, it's a pipe in your head. This is when the um, this is when the economic forum says, uh, "Yes, uh, we've lost some privacy. People know what I'm uh, doing, know where I am, know what I'm thinking, even what I'm dreaming. But it's all worth it. Okay, that's what they mean." Because you will be able, the government or these institutions or whatever will be able to go into your head and know what you're thinking because you're using the backbone of the internet to think and research. And it can go into your head and retrieve dreams. It's extraordinarily dangerous. Think of the targeted advertising uses. Oh, This is why we must have faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, okay? Um, let's just end it off with Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Okay. What is that fire and brimstone? ICBM missiles that will be shot Okay. During the time of Yahweh Shai's return, during World War Three, and in that moment, there are going to be many that are going to be left behind, that are going to feel that fire touch their skin. Okay. In the presence of our Lord Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, He is going to allow himself as well as the angels and as well as the elect to watch all those that are going to be left behind and burn and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name okay and this is why we push that Yahweh is the only way you we are not to conform unto this man's image his pseudoscience, his religions, false religions, i.e. his democracy. We are not to conform unto this man's image. We are to conform unto the image of the Lord. All right? That is whom we should be imitating and walking after. Okay? And how much more, especially in these times, when all these great prophecies are coming to pass right in front of our very eyes. So, Lord willing, you brothers are edified, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah, HaKodash. Shalom.